We just lost. We just lost to the Kansas City Chiefs, 29 to 30 in Kansas City. What a very interesting game, guys. <sighs> that one hurt. That one hurt for sure. Game literally just ended right now. Uh, we clearly lost the game because of Josh McDaniels. I'm going to have to put the loss 29 to 30 on Josh McDaniels. Went for that second point conversion. Not able to get it done. We lose in the final seconds of the game because of that. Was the catch by Devontae Adams inbounds? Halfway. That, that left foot, it was barely with possession. I mean, he just caught the ball in his hands. He didn't really like pull it into his chest. And they were talking about you have to have full possession when you, when you uh, do the toe tip. So I'm not really mad at that call, especially the way the calls were all night. Calls were questionable all night. I mean, I'm kind of glad the Chiefs went through like what they went through with... Um, with the whole, you know, roughing the passer with Derek Carr in the second half. We get shit calls like that for years, you know, years. So to see the fans rowdy in uh, Kansas City and to see them kind of go through that was uh, pretty relieving for me. Uh, let's just get into it right off the bat. I thought we were going to get blown out. Uh, we go to KC. Casey's hot. They just beat the Bucks, made him kind of look stupid. But at the end of the day, this could be a trap game. Uh, my friend Eric uh, Santillan and me, we talk every week and we say like, you know, uh, what the prediction would be. I had Don Denver smacking us. I had the Chiefs smacking us, especially the Chiefs. I did consider on both occasions for the Broncos, I said, hey, we might sneak a field goal or so, but they're probably one of the worst teams in the NFL right now. When it came to the Chiefs, I said, we're going to get blown out or it's going to be a trap game. The way it looked is we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them the whole time. We should have won that game, to be honest with you. We'll get into that right now. But yeah, uh, Eric, he told me, we're going to shock the world. We damn well should have. And we still did, honestly. I'm shocked. The Raiders really showed up today. And I'm proud of every single person on that team, except one person gets a shit ball in my opinion, and we're gonna get into that right now. Offensively, we started great. Running the ball, just like we should. Josh Jacobs, monster day today. Broke off a few huge runs, showing why we deserve Josh Jacobs to get a contract. Honestly, after that game, last game, all season long, as long as he stays healthy, we need to pay that man. Seriously. Jacobs has been beasting out. Now, when it comes to Derek in this game, Derek gets flustered really easy at Arrowhead Stadium. He was holding composure the whole game. I really don't have anything bad to say about Derek Carr on that game. He got sacked a few times, sure. We knew that was going to happen. But he was rolling out and making things happen just like he needs to. Step up in the pocket when things collapse. That line was holding up enough for Carr to be able to dish it out. And um, had a couple connections with Devontae Adams. He was spreading the ball. Waller goes out early with the hamstring. He would, he was He was trying to do as much as he could, honestly, so... Derek Carr doing solid for me. Um, Devontae has a good game too. Two touchdowns, two, a couple big plays. He almost got that pass right out to the, uh, to the right side of the field at the end that would have put Carlson in field goal position to win the game. But you can't cry over spilled milk. Uh, at the end of the day, it was like, it was barely off on it being out and they ruled it out. So, or in and they ruled it out. So, you can't really uh, can't really fault him on that one. That was a that was a pretty tough catch to make. So Devonte Adams had a good game. Like I said, Waller goes out quick with a hamstring. Maybe six plays into the game, we didn't even have a tight end the whole game. We had Foster Moreau being out on this game. So 
I, you know, no tight end action whatsoever. Hollins really quiet on this game. Had a pretty crucial like 60 yard drop in the beginning of the game. Um, but overall, the offensive line was really holding up for Derek. And he was trying to make things happen as much as he could offensively. With Patrick Mahomes, we were able to contain offensively the Chiefs the whole first half of the game. Uh, I was really impressed with the, like I said, the offense with passing and giving it to Jacobs. It was a really good blended combo together, keeping it 50% on both sides of that. I really, really like the offense. And that's why we started off damn near 17 to zero for the first half. Defense, when it comes to defense, Patrick Graham, I mean, I feel like our players defensively, like Chandler Jones, he's been on my shit list this whole season. Chandler Jones was actually putting a lot of pressure, stopping the run, and he damn near got two or three sacks on Patrick Mahomes. So Chandler Jones actually showed up on this one. You got Max Crosby. He shows up every game. He's actually making me regret buying a Darren Waller jersey a month back. I actually was going to pull out my phone this video and buy a Max Crosby jersey right in front of you guys, but I'll do that after this video. I'm definitely going to buy a Max Crosby jersey. I think he gets two, two and a half sacks on this game, putting pressure, just swarming the field. He's nuts. Max Crosby, top five pass rusher in the league. Love the hell out of that guy. Rocky Sin back, deflecting passes, doing what he can is at, at most. Robertson making plays. Juju match up with him. There's a couple times where, you know, the Chiefs are good. They have good players. So when you have good players, you have a good coach, and you have a good quarterback, you're obviously going to be winning some games, and you're going to be a tough team to beat. So you give the Chiefs time. You give them a drive or two. The momentum's going to swing, and that's exactly what happened. They caught up to us. Even when we had the 17 up, win, uh, you know, 17 up score, I thought we were still going to lose this game. Honestly, I was like, you know what? Uh, it's not over by a long shot. There's four quarters still. Raiders have a hard time finishing games, especially in Arrowhead, and we have Mahomes, the comeback king, and that's exactly what happened. And we ended up losing the game. Patrick Graham's. Giving him too much time, um, not enough quarterback spy to keep an eye on Mahomes. He does a really couple good plays, rolling out, using his legs, and he has enough time in the second half. Chandler Jones and Max Crosby were just not getting to him in the second half like they were in the first half. It gives them enough time to roll out and make things happen. Travis Kelsey has a field day on us, four touchdowns today. I haven't seen a guy get a four touchdowns in forever. So, you know, it's uh, it's pretty shitty, guys. Um, honestly, the pivotal moment of losing this game today falls on Josh McDaniels. They go for a late second point conversion, the Chiefs. They don't convert it. I think what happened was Josh McDaniels wanted to be really aggressive and really wanted to match the in intensity of what we had when we scored. And he ended up going for two. We don't convert. We're down a point. We get a chance to win the game. And uh, we don't make that conversion. Renfro runs right into Adams and ends up costing us the game. It, at, at the end of the day, we can blame Renfro for taking that slant and running right into Devontae. Uh, at the end of the day, we can blame... Um, you know, some of the calls that were made, we had a lot of bad calls and same with the chiefs though. They had some bad calls as well. I'm not going to lie. Let's not sugarcoat that. But Josh McDaniels goes for two. We lose by one point. If that wouldn't have happened and we would have kicked it, we would have had another chance in overtime to win the game. So loss falls on McDaniels in this one. There's not really much else to say guys. Super disappointed in this one. I'm glad that the team really showed up and showed some resilience. I was super, super, super pumped when Derek was able to go up in the pocket and sling that 60-yard pass to Devontae in the end zone. I absolutely lost it. I went live for a split second with you guys for that final drive. But yeah, really close. We should have won that game. And uh, we lost. We lose by one point again. So Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of today's performance. 
I, uh, I definitely am interested to see what you guys think. We have the Texans next. Uh, they just lost uh, this last week against the Bears. So that should be an easy win. Hopefully it's not a trap game for us. We need to show up with the same intensity and keep the season going. That's really all I could say, guys. This was a loss fully on Josh McDaniels. And uh, let's just say Mark Davis, you know, the GOAT, the greatest of all time. He's going to have that tough conversation with, with McDaniels because with those type of uh, play calling decisions, that right there determines your fate if you're going to be a head coach or not in the NFL. I'll see you guys on the next video. I told Eric I'd be shouting you out, and I'm shouting you out right now, Eric. You were almost right, bro. And our team really showed up. So I'm just proud of this team. On this game, they really showed up in Arrowhead. Surprised the hell out of me. It's still Raiders all day. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.